Will Litecoin ever reach one fourth of Bitcoin's price or 25%? Or even will Litecoin ever reach one eighth or 12.5%? Of Bitcoin's price. We're going to be talking about that in this episode as well as looking at Bitcoin and Litecoin because these charts are really showing that something is going to happen very soon and we definitely don't trade sideways forever. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new make sure to hit that button and hit that other button and we can jump into the video. First, uh, instead of looking at Bitcoin and Litecoin on the charts first, I'm going to look at Litecoin paired with Bitcoin. So this is really something important for Litecoin lovers out there. People, you know, have been comparing Litecoin to Bitcoin. And historically, Litecoin has really kind of peaked at 2% of Bitcoin's price. Litecoin has struggled a very long time at getting over 2% of Bitcoin's price. So for that, we're going to look back over the past two years. You can see here, um, this line right here represents uh, about 2% of Bitcoin's price. And this represents about 1.9% of Bitcoin's price. So basically, this right here represents about 1.9%. So within here is only about a tenth of a percent. But you can see here very clearly, so much resistance here every time Litecoin approaches that. Uh, and the very few times that we did break through that resistance, we see resistance even right above that at 2% um, of Bitcoin's price. One thing you can notice as well is that the bottom so far of what we've seen is about 0.006 or about half of a percent of Bitcoin's price. So really over the past two years, Litecoin has fluctuated between half of a percent of Bitcoin's price and all the way up to 2% of Bitcoin's price. Currently, uh, as you can see over the past five months, we've actually increased that a lot, going from about half of a percent all the way up to 1.5%, uh, even peaking around pretty much 2% right here. But you can see clearly there are some major obstacles here for Litecoin getting through that. But I guess I wanna talk about, you know, can Litecoin get above 2%? Of Bitcoin's price. How could that happen? Could it happen? Will it ever happen? One main thing that so many people have been talking about, in particular in 2018, the first few months of 2018, uh, Charlie Lee got a lot of attention. You know, he was pretty much one of the biggest figures, if not the biggest uh, trustworthy figures in the crypto space, because there were a lot of big names, whether it was Roger Ver or John McC McAfee. Um, those people weren't necessarily considered trustworthy. And as well, if we remember back, Charlie Lee actually did call Litecoin going down to $20, which it, it did get into the $20 range, or at, at least the $30 range. So in terms of that call, totally spot on. Nobody knows if we're going to continue to go down and drop in price. However, that was a spot on call. Um, and, and Charlie, I think, is revered or at least respected by a lot of people in the community, and I think that is deservingly the case. I think he, you know, deserves to be respected, uh, even though he got tons of backlash for saying that Bitcoin was going to go down and that Litecoin might hit $20, um, which it did. So you can't really hate on that, and I don't think many people are hating on him anymore anyway, because he turned out to be right. But back to my point, can Litecoin ever get above 2% of Bitcoin's price? I think it, I think so. I believe it will. But with that, fundamentally, things definitely need to happen. What does Litecoin need? A strong community, uh, very good marketing, really good tech and, and a use case. And if anything, I think Litecoin does have that. Security as well. Uh, and, and there are you know, a million things I could get into. If you're already involved in Litecoin, I'm sure you know, maybe you'll leave a comment saying that or you, you already know, um, you know off the top of your head, maybe like 20 reasons why Litecoin is, is really a usable, safe, what I would consider very safe coin. And when it comes to having money, using it and spending it as, as money, I think that's one of the biggest things, knowing you feel secure with it. Uh, so that way, you know, being stressed about if your money is going to be there or not, or if this is going to happen, if that, you know, security is a huge thing. Speed obviously was never a problem for Litecoin. It's pretty fast. There's a lot of great things about Litecoin. But if Litecoin right now was 25% of Bitcoin's price, you know, uh, Bitcoin is about 5,200 right now. If Litecoin was 25 cents or 25% or one fourth of Bitcoin's price, Litecoin would be worth 1,300 US dollars. And even if it was only an eighth 
of Bitcoin's price. So half of half of 25 percent, an eighth, uh, 12.5 percent of Bitcoin's price. It would be six hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, and if we go over to the chart here, many of you already know this. We never did reach. 650 US dollars for, for Litecoin. Uh, the highest it went was a little over 400, which is still incredible. Um, however, at that time, Bitcoin was well over 15, 16, 17, touching as high as 20,000 US dollars. So that percentage uh, change in terms of Bitcoin and Litecoin never really, mat uh, never really happened. But will there be a day when Litecoin does break out of 2%? And for all of the diehard Litecoin fans out there, for all of the people in the community, I think that's really what they're working towards. Again, what you need is adoption, security, uh, speed, everything. Everything needs to be there. It needs to be a total package. Most likely, an event like that would happen during a, a bullish market. Uh, probably would not necessarily happen in a bear market. Maybe in a prolonged sideways trading period, you could see maybe a resurgence if, if Litecoin partnered with this or something happened with the tech or something like that. As the adoption continues, you know, I think that's definitely possible. But I really do think Litecoin will have that move. And I just don't see how it possibly could stay at 2% uh, of Bitcoin forever, which currently is not even 2%, but that's kind of its peak. As you can see, kind of within this zone right here is basically like 2%. And that's kind of like the big barrier for, for Litecoin. And again, this is Litecoin compared to Bitcoin here. So you can see right now it's actually uh, 0.015 or 1.5% 1 of Bitcoin's price. So I do think, you know, eventually Litecoin will have a day where we do see something like this. Some of you may disagree. Some of you may think that that ever, won't ever happen. And if that's the case, feel free to leave a comment why you don't think uh, that'll ever happen. You know, if you hold XRP and you hate Litecoin or if you hold some other coin and hate Litecoin, you know, that, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know why. But even if you're unbiased and you like Litecoin, you just don't ever think that it will do something like that, leave a comment as well. Let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Switching over to Bitcoin, and then we're going to look at Litecoin, though. Uh, I want to start on the daily. You can see we still have not retraced to that 50 moving average. And as time goes on, that moving average naturally is moving up because we are holding, uh, which, again, could be a, a good thing. Right now, if it pulled back, the moving average would be 44 60 almost 4500 a few days ago it would have been like 43 so about a hundred dollars less um if we switch to the stochastic here again the, it's a slower moving indicator but it is kind of pointing upwards and it's very close to the bottom there around a six or a seven on the rsi uh stochastic rsi and in the regular rsi you see it kind of bouncing around here you can see this very clear pattern here uh let me let me redo that didn't work out did it you can see this kind of uh, lower or higher lows. You can see here February 6th, March 3rd, about a month later, March 25th, and April 15th. You can see that it keeps going up here on the RSI and then finding here. And I, I do think uh, in terms of here, it wouldn't be unheard of to see maybe move like this down and then up again. And that would m indicate maybe a shorter term move to the upside, which could be good as well. The longer we're finding support here, this could actually be a better thing. Might not necessarily have to pull back. As this slower moving oscillator indicator, uh, the stochastic RSI might be indicating there, we could be able to spend some more time up there. Now the RSI on the weekly as well has been going up, um, so we could maybe see some more upside there um, in terms for Bitcoin. Looking on the 4 hour, clearly still very much so above that 4 hour, which is really good. It's bouncing off of there and really found support, and we're, we're there right now. Now switching to the 1 hour, you can see we actually have again broken above that as of yesterday you saw that big candle from 5,000 to 5,200 you see that moving average inching up and really just very tight consolidation there for Bitcoin so I think that's another good look there for Bitcoin and if we want to switch to Litecoin it's going to be a very similar story here uh, on the weekly we are still above that that weekly 50 moving average however I'm not sure if I talked about this yet on Bitcoin's weekly um, we are still finding resistance there, and that's kind of what we're battling right now. You can see if we get getting real close here, we wicked up to the 50 moving, 50 moving average on the weekly, but we are not above it yet. We are still waiting for that. And if that were to happen, we could see a nice pop and a nice explosion in price of, of uh, cryptocurrencies across the board, most likely. And that would be exciting to see as well. And for Litecoin in the weekly, you see we are above the 50 moving average as of uh, yeah April 1st. 
uh, when we bounced above there. So that's been nice to see that on the daily. However, um, again, similar to Bitcoin on the daily, we're above that 50 moving average, that 50 day moving average here. Litecoin is really consolidated in a very tight range since April 11th, uh, really basically between 78 and like 83, 84 dollars. Litecoin on the four hour, we are actually underneath the moving average, which we would like to see us get above that. And then on the one hour as well, we are still testing that. You can see how close we are to that. You see that stochastic indicating move and move up though. And the regular RSI kind of not indicating too much there, kind of right in the middle. Same here on the four hour. Um, and the stochastic here, basically right dead in the middle almost at 55. Other than that, uh, Bitcoin dominance has gone up a little bit from yesterday. Volume is up, and we see some coins still kind of holding the gains from yesterday because yesterday was a much bigger move in terms of the whole market so far than today has been. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this update. Let me know what you guys think if Litecoin will ever get above 2% of Bitcoin's price. I do. And if you think so, explain your reasoning, please. And if you don't, feel free to explain your reasoning for that as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that button and hit that other button, and I will see you in the next video.